S L V R D L L R Sloopdeller. What the hell's that? All right, so just doing some uh, realm closing today. Uh, felt like going to a really small realm and trying to do a private wine cellar as close as possible. Uh, I checked out Realm I. If you go to um, Guild and then uh, Activity by Guild server, or server by Guild activity, uh, you can sort it by members and see which servers have the least number of people playing on it. Uh, so usually this, the most quiet servers I think are EU Southwest, Asia East, and US South 3. So today we're just closing down uh, I think a six per six or seven person server or realm on uh, EU Southwest. I was on a night, which probably isn't the fastest way to do things. It's kind of handy if you have a rogue uh, that can run around, especially for doing red demons. But uh, they're still pretty fun to to run it on, anyways. Um, it's definitely one of the least efficient ways to get loot, just because yeah, you barely get anything. We didn't really get too many events, actually. I think we had um, you know just one of each of the main events um, it wasn't like one of those realms where you get a whole bunch of cubes or a whole bunch of skull gods um, so I think in the end maybe I got I don't know eight pots or something it was pretty pretty weak but it's kind of fun to mix it up a bit and you know do it just with small numbers I thought I would just do some narration for this video and just not talk so much about what's actually going on in the game but uh, just, you know, talk about what's happening in Realm and stuff this week. But first, some Pac-Man. And I don't think I'm the only person who thinks about Pac-Man every time they stare at the minimap. So, yeah, everyone knows that they soul pounded UTs again. Uh, but I've heard a lot of speculation about them either, you know, making them unsold down eventually. I think they mentioned that in the Realm cast. Or just doing another period, like another week, where just everything's unsold bound. Um, you know, that, that wasn't too bad. It worked, seemed to work pretty well. I think everyone was able to get all their stuff again, but. It would be nice if just, you know, everything was unsold out and permanently. Uh, but obviously it's probably a sign that they haven't actually been able to figure out the, you know, duping fix yet. Um, as far as stuff on the forums go, uh, you guys should check out the Create 2013 contest. It's being hosted by Rivalry, and he's uh, one of those players that is always uh, creating realm uh, stuff and posting it on the forums like artwork so yeah he's hosting a really big contest I think there's a ton of categories pretty much whatever you can think of you can probably submit like there's stuff for art uh, videos uh, stories and lore and uh, just general ideas and he's got pretty sweet prizes so I think top three top three in each category get prizes and stuff uh, there's about a week left on it. I think it closes May 3rd. Um, on the, I guess, official contests, the last one was the Tough Tumor. Uh, and I think Nightingale took that one. They got some pretty sweet vids up for that. Um, the videos, though, posted on the forums by, I think it was Sir Aisha recorded them. They're, they kind of suck just because he put this huge yellow timer so you can't actually see what's going on on the minimap. But if you jump over to YouTube and look at, uh, I think it's Tangy Tango's um, channel, he's got a pretty good video of him uh, doing it, and he captures yeah a lot of the action. 
I'll post that in the description below. I think they ended up doing it in about six minutes. They had a, I, I don't think there was a cap on the number of people, so they had a ton of people in there. Um, but you could, you had to do it without anyone accessing and no teleporting. So it was still, you know, pretty solid to do such a big tomb and not have anyone uh, nexus or die. All right, just wanted to also highlight a couple YouTube uh, ROTMG channels and users and stuff I've been watching lately. Um, you might want to check out uh, the founder of New Sparta, Mega Max STR. Uh, he's got a pretty solid series going right now. Uh, I think it's called Pro Archer Series. And I'll link it below. So that if you're into you know archer stuff, check it out. Uh, also, I just stumbled across his channel, uh, Oblivion King. He does a lot of you know like pretty solid regular gameplay vids, but he's also got these um, videos with uh, what are they called? It's like perler beads. I've never seen them before, but uh, I guess they're these little plastic beads, and he makes uh, all the different, like, realm characters out of them, and I guess you heat them up or something, and it makes, like, a little character. But yeah, I thought I was trying to find, like, some Skull Shrine gameplay stuff, and I ended up coming across his video um, that he made, like, a pretty sweet design of this, so they're definitely worth uh, checking out. And last, uh, just a couple... Yeah, vids from my uh, guildies. Uh, both Beppy and Cyber Owl have been recording pretty heavy lately. Uh, they tend to p just put up a lot of long play uh, video, not too much editing in it. But, you know, some of it's good, and if you're interested in just, uh, yeah, interested in seeing uncut play, it's pretty solid. Uh, also, I think for audio, usually they just leave whatever. Uh, is there from team speak and stuff so a lot of it's just uh, night owls you know talking in the background or whatever so yeah all decent stuff I'll link, I'll link uh, all the YouTube videos in the description below oh my gosh so finally some like 50 quests later I think finally closed out the realm um, I'm not sure how long it took probably like I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or something. It felt like forever. Uh, but it was definitely worth it. We ended up... Well, there's not too many people in this castle. I th think it's maybe just the one lane. Yeah, just one lane. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and, yeah, with pets now, I mean, ru <laughs> rushing on the rogues. So you, you never run out of mana unless you're quieted. So it's pretty sweet. Um... Yeah, the pets are definitely messing up some of the uh, <laughs> mana-dependent classes, I guess, as far as just making it so much easier. No, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't really count how many people we had, but... I think about 12 or 14. And thankfully... Yeah, we weren't clearing much, so I think we were losing a few people along the way as well. We really haven't been getting good uh, drops, though, from this whole this whole realm. At least picked up a couple feed items, I guess, so that's not too bad. I love the guy asks about clearing. <laughs> I haven't seen a cleared wine cellar in so long. And yeah, when I got to O2 finally, that there's a freaking knight right there, unnamed, uh, which made me feel really slow. But definitely glad um, I came on my rogue. I mean, it's always a little sketchy sometimes when you're doing smaller uh, wine cellars and if you're on a melee class. And if people aren't clearing and stuff, it's pretty tough to get in there. Uh, I'm never very good at getting first stun. I've seen so many people die trying to do it, so I'm uh, always pretty happy to be able to cloak in if I can.
And after all that work, got it on VidPod. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the game. S-L-V-R-D-L-L-R out. <laughs>